Um, so we're looking at altitudes and the intersection of the altitudes, the orthocenter. We're going to prove this theorem. The product of the segments into which the side of a triangle is divided by the foot of the altitude is equal to this altitude multiplied by the distance of the side from the orthocenter. Okay, well, this will become more apparent. As we as we uh, do our drawing, there is my triangle ABC. Now we need the orthocenter, which means we need uh, two altitudes to this thing. Um, let me just make it a little bit more, uh, a little bit less of a right angle triangle. The right angle triangle, obviously, the orthocenter is right on um, one of the vertices. So here we go. Um, Sorry, on one of the edges, is what I meant to say. Uh, to create the um, an altitude, there's two ways of doing it. One is uh, draw a segment that goes across and make sure that segment is at right angles. And then there's uh, the shortcut, which is to select the point and the opposite side and uh, the right angle uh, constraint. And that drops an altitude for us. And then intersect the altitudes uh, to get the orthocenter f. So now, what this um, theorem is saying is that if we multiply BD by DC, let me just bring C up so that we can. The theorem is saying if we multiply BD by DC, it's the same as um, the. Um, distance of the side from the orthocenter times the whole altitude. Um, let's put some lengths into the triangle. Uh, so that these distances actually have something meaningful when we ask them. If you ask for a distance before uh, putting in any, any quantities, you get it in terms of uh, arbitrary uh, quantities that are thrown in by the by geometry expressions and um, they don't necessarily mean anything to you. Uh, they mean something to the computer, but not necessarily to you. Um, okay, so here what we want to look at is the product of BD uh, times DC. That looks like that. And now we want to um, take this altitude AD times the distance uh, from F to D. Okay, well, they could be the same, but <laughs> it's not obvious we'd have to multiply this out. Um, they could do, you could set yourself that as a little algebra exercise, or we could do the algebra exercise um, using uh, GX web. Do it the easy way. Oh, uh, they didn't want to do that. So, well, that's okay, I suppose. It's a very peculiar way of um, well, it really doesn't doesn't matter. I can do that. Do it this way. D. And the answer after all that is one. Perhaps it would have been quicker for me to just multiply the two things out. Um, in fact, I can actually do that in the in GX web, just copying a, a quantity there. 
and uh, we can then eyeball and see that these are the same.